Welcome to the quick overview of incident module of Cisco XTR. When you log into Cisco XTR, you will be landed on the control center. From there, click on the incidents menu. The Cisco XTR incidents provides most critical information needed to detect, triage, investigate and respond all in one place. So the top portion of the incident shows the total number of incidents, new total number of new incidents, how many open incidents are available and unassigned incidents are available. Then you have a filter uh, search page here, search option here where you can search it based on the name and the other criteria. Then you have a filter based on the date. So you can filter it based on the hours, days and you can create a custom range filter based on the from and to data. Then you have additional filter available here. You can filter the incidents based on the assignment, status and then minimum priority score. So these are all the incidents reported by Cisco XTR and the high priority incidents are reported in the first page of the incidents page. And then you have, uh, you can uh, sort it based on the priority name, source and all these things. And if you want to change the status of a particular incident, you can click here and you can change the status accordingly. And then you can, if you want to change uh, the assignment of a particular incident, you can add additional assignment or you can reassign this particular incident to a different user. You can search the users here. And if you want to delete a particular incident, click here and then you can delete. So this is the priority of the incident. 100 comes from detection risk and 10 is the assert value of the risk. And this is the name of the incident and here is the source and it has been reported two days ago and it is assigned to this particular user and this is the status. Let us click on this particular incident to see more details about this incident. So it, it opens up the incident drawer. It shows uh, the name and the other details here. And then it shows the MITRE tactics and techniques. You can click on the view details. So these are all the tactics, tactics involved in this particular incident. And these are all the techniques involved. And you'll have a summary of the incident and then the description. Also you'll have the asserts which are all involved in this incident. Click on the view incident detail. Let's skip the AE assistant for now. So the top portion shows the incident summary, also the MITRE tactics and techniques. So these are the different tabs available here, overview, detection, response, work log and then lastly we will go through the view investigation. So the overview tab of the incident shows two different things, one is the attack graph itself. So how many devices are in, uh, involved, endpoints, host names, processes uh, with a color coding. So all these things are displayed in the uh, attack graph. And then the details about the incident uh, will be reported here. The top asserts, uh, top observables and top indicators. If you wanted to understand more on all the observables involved here or all the asserts or all the indicators, uh, click on the view all uh, button. So here I am clicking on, clicking on the view all for the observables. So it shows all the 134 observables. You can search based on the observable names or you can filter it based on the malicious, unknown or the clean. I'm just expanding the graph. If you double click here, it shows the all the processes involved here. And the maliciousness it shows by the color coding. So you can click on the malicious uh, uh, process. It shows more details about the file name, file path and the SHA value. You can also click on the view events. So only that particular events will be displayed. Let's move on to the detection page. So the detection tab shows all the events which are involved in this particular incident. You can also filter the events based on the type, source, severity and you can click on this one to show only the important ones. So the important, uh, if you click on the important only then only the critical and the high, high severity events will be displayed. And you can sort the events based on the first scene, severity, source and all these things. And also you will have based it based on the assert value. I am just clicking on one of the event. 
so this event is about the ildap connection from a suspicious process on a machine called quartz dot windows and it is reported by cisco xtr and this is a summary you'll have the description and it shows the description as well as the next steps to be taken and it shows the ip address of the uh, assert uh, at the time of the alert uh, and it shows the host name monitor tactics and techniques uh, and you'll have all the indicators here and the priority is high so you can go through all the events uh, which are interesting for you then you can go to the response page so the response page has got two different things like you can either add a note or you can uh, um, execute a particular workflow or a playbook so wherever you see the identification shows different notes to be added you can review the incident or you can analyze the indicators so you can add a note for all these things and if you want to execute uh, uh, this particular workflow workflow you can click on execute so this particular thing it will confirm the incident and the next one it will um, document and notify it if you want to understand more on it you can just click on it it shows uh, what this particular workflow will do document and notify so if you want to see the actual workflow itself go to automate and then uh, click on the workflows i am opening in a new tab So you can view this particular workflow. Next go to the containment uh, uh, section. So this shows like how to contain this particular incident. Uh, even here you can add a note for few actions uh, and you can actually contain this particular incident. You can contain the URL, you can contain the incident with file hashes uh, and you can uh, identify the vulnerabilities. Uh, let us click on this execute of the contain incident file hashes. Uh, so it shows all the file hashes involved in this particular incident. Uh, so you can filter it based on the maliciousness of the uh, of the particular uh, SHA value. And you can select the ones whatever you want to contain or you can select all and then you can execute. Uh, when you execute, it will execute this particular playbook. Uh, that is basically connect to the particular endpoint solution and contain this these SHAs. Uh, and then you can add various nodes for eradication and recovery. So the work log uh, section has got uh, two different uh, um, things. One is the nodes. It shows all the nodes whatever you have added for this particular incident. You can add a note here or you can uh, sort the node based on the newest or the oldest. And the audit log shows the audit history of this particular incident. Let us move on to the view investigation. So when you click on view investigation of a particular incident, it opens the investigation tab. So you can filter based on the different sources here. These are all the different sources which are involved in this particular investigation. And these are all the dispositions. So you can filter based on the disposition. So uh, it has got uh, two different sections. So one is the attack graph. Attack graph it's based on the particular timeline. You can slide the timeline so that uh, the attack graph will change. It will show the um, attack uh, uh, events which are happened at that particular time frame. And then you have related events here. Let us check the attack graph first. You can do a full screen. So you have 30 nodes displayed here and the maliciousness of the particular node is displayed with a color coding here. Red is malicious, orange is suspicious etc. And then you can zoom in, zoom out and all these things you can do here. So you can click on a particular uh, node. So here we clicked on a, a node called tiny.exe. It's a malicious process. It shows when it is observed and 18 events are related to that. And the attributes are this is the file name, this is the file path. And then uh, you have the SHA value of it. So all these things are displayed here. You can also see the view events. If you click on the view events, it shows every event which are related to this particular malicious process. Again, the events can be uh, sorted out based on the first scene, severity, sources, indicators and observables and asserts. So if you click on this particular observables in the event here, 
it shows like uh, who provided the verdict called malicious uh, so it is amp file reputation and also it shows uh, the different actions you can take based on the different uh, integrations you have with this cisco uh, xdr so here the cisco xdr is integrated with crowdstrike microsoft defender and then uh, secure email uh, threat defense uh, as well as endpoint so you can uh, click on uh, uh, add indicator detect only so that will run an action on the uh, crowdstrike falcon similarly you can do it for microsoft defender also uh, and the secure uh, email threat defense uh, you can uh, search for the messages here or you can quarantine the message if you click on the quarantine message what it will do is it will uh, quarantine the messages which has got these uh, uh, this particular malicious show and also you can connect to the secure endpoint uh, for file trajectory or searching the SHA as well as you can uh, contain this particular SHA with a secure endpoint. With this we have come to the conclusion of the demo. Thanks for watching. Thank you.